Welcome to another fantastic episode of At The Bar Podcast. I am your host, Mike, color commentator. As always, Hollywood himself is over there with his sunglasses on. And we have a very special guest here for this very special episode. Billion Dollar Carlos here. Boom! From Bows Point. Bows Point, Carlos here. How are you doing, man? Doing good. Good, Doing good. good. Doing good. So we have, finally we're getting to this episode I've been wanting to do for a while. You have, yeah. Yeah. Been it's, building up the stock <laughs> yeah. for months. It's the Bows Point <laughs> Sculpin Horizontal. All in bottles, bought at the yeah. same exact time, at the same exact place. So I was told, actually, uh, I don't think horizontal is a thing. I think we kind of just made that up. So we're, that's you, cool. We coined well, that's it. Right. You started your own thing. We, we did. I mean, we started it's our own horizontal. Yeah. It's, horizontal. it's like a vertical, except it's not. Except it's a horizontal. It's a horizontal. So like when we get new beers, we need to just we need to have a horizontal. That's what yeah. we're Well, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I accidentally and then caught myself as soon as I said it, talking about doing a horizontal vertical. And I'm like, they're all IPAs. Those first ones wouldn't last for a year anyway. So yeah, that no. would be a bad idea. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I love that, though. I love it when people are like, yeah, we're going to do this. We got this vertical, this double IPA, and it's, you know, this year, this year, this year, and it's the taste nothing like <laughs> No, <laughs> Yeah, they're going to be real buttery. Unless it's like 120, it's 20-something percent alcohol. Yeah. Then yeah. it'll be fine. That, I don't, I don't, that, that's always fine. But so, that, Carlos, that's party wine-esque. Tell us, tell us what you do. So I basically cover sales for Bows Point all over, over, all over Central Florida. Okay. I, uh, I'm basically the liaison between the distributor and the brewery. Cool. Um, you know, I, I'm also... The guy that shows support for marketing and whatnot, whenever, you know, Wob is doing an event or anything like that. I'm, right. I'm there to, you know, talk to people, give people more of an insight of the brewery uh-huh. and kind of like a sneak peek of what we have coming up into the future and kind of just everything really from marketing to sales to, to it all, you know, just making sure that, you know. He's Ballast the guy. Point He's the guy the, uh, that when we have Ballast Point, Carlos is the first one here and the last one to leave. Yeah, always. And, and usually bringing out the family and friends. <laughs> that, that's me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now that you're my friend, forget it. Now, forget, I'm, I'm gonna now be, you're, you're getting calls. I'm going to be like, hey, what are, you, what are you doing? I'm going to like set you up and just be like, yeah, you're hanging out on Tuesday? Oh, you are? Cool. Let's have a beer. You walk into an event. And then all of a sudden, like, cool, man. It's yeah. like trick you. Absolutely. I'm not going to buy a Bow's Point. <laughs> what, what are you drinking? Oh, it has to be a Bow's oh, Point for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So how long have you been uh, doing – it's a representative of rep, right? So, yeah, I've been uh, I've been with Bow's Point for about six months now. Six yeah, months? I've been with them for about six months prior cool. to that. I was with a distributor that cool. sold Bow's Point. So uh, it, yeah, he, was, he used to be our brown rep. Yeah. And then he moved into Ballast Point, which was, like, pretty awesome. We've had, a, we've had a handful of people that we've had good relationships with that move into really cool, uh, like – brand rep roles and yeah. we've it's been great for us so Thank you. thanks man Thank you. Well, <laughs> so uh Thank you want to get started yeah yeah let's, let's get started so, so we're going to start uh with the first one just going to be the the base sculpin and then the other three are the flavors so yeah, we're going to go ahead and do them all that's what horizontal is kids you heard let's it go. here first we're going to do they saw the I, caught it. <laughs> I caught it i caught it and he caught it all right so carlos uh, if you want to tell us a little bit about maybe the the, the, the sculpin absolutely as we're pouring it out here absolutely so so don't take them yet so i can make sure we all get enough i i won't know <laughs> so Sculpin, honestly, it is our it is our money maker, man. It's what keeps the lights on for us. It's our right. it's our biggest brand. Um, kind of how it started is, you know, a couple guys at the brewery had, you know, we we, we kind of just came from a home brew mentality. When the brewery first opened up, we weren't even a brewery. We were a, a it was called Homebrew Mart, and we were right. you can buy homebrew equipment, and we taught you how to brew beer. When you know, we kind of just always have never really broken off from those roots from us yeah and we had two guys that brewed a beer and uh our head brewer kobe he looked at their recipes and they were like well these two recipes are kind of almost identical mm-hmm. let me let me tweak a couple things on it tweaked a couple things added some things on his own they made one recipe together and that was sculpin you know we you know we we have just when that beer came out sky was the limit blew the top off the brewery and we've yeah. been trying to catch up since wow now, you know, was was big eye before sculpin so big guys also because those are both your two those are single two. IPAs. Those, those are those two. are just regular IPAs. Yeah, regular IPAs. So big guy was not before Sculpin. Sculpin okay. was before. Um, the the thing is, big guy is like our take on on English style IPA. Okay. But okay. it's you know that being I, I hate to use that term sometimes because you guys have tried big guy. Big guy is hardcore man big guy is yeah. hoppy as hell yeah, yeah. Awesome, i was you know? gonna say i thought it was almost a west coast style like in the way it tastes well, yeah that's the thing i mean it, it really it really is but then again know? like sculpin but, could be like either east ours. coast or west coast on depending on the yeah, day I mean, and how you try it sculpin, yeah. like a lot of people get different things from sculpin sculpin yeah. is phenomenal i mean they you know it's it's always 
for me, it's always a really well balanced IPA. Mm -hmm. That people that don't like IPAs either can either drink them and still either be like, man, I don't like IPAs, but this is cool. This is drinkable. It's not too aggressive, yeah. but it's not mild either. And right. you know, you get a bunch of different things, man. We 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 continuously hop that thing five different times, and it just adds like a really weird balance to it. You'll get a ton of grapefruit, like natural yeah. grapefruit flavor from the hops. Some people get peach. Some people get apricots. You know, we've. Uh, We've we've had a, a a big mix with those things. This and is also 100 yeah. I mean, this is a great IPA as far as um, reputation goes. It's already up there with the every man every IPA yeah. man's drinker IPA because it's like people yeah. have been comparing it with the hop executioners awesome. and with the with the 60 minutes and things like that because it is it is that yeah. good of an IPA. So yeah. yeah, that's that's a great base to build off of when you take three more flavors on it. And that yeah. and that's kind of and that's kind of was the, was the idea. We do a thing at the brewery. It's called IPA Day, and we literally just we. Create IPAs, man, and we <laughs> buy. It's a big festival, and everyone comes by and they drink, and you know, then they kind of vote on it. And the winner of two IPA days ago, two years ago, was Grapefruit. Grapefruit yeah. did awesome. Won it's all this stuff. Open. We try it out in California. It does good, and then yeah. we're like, okay, well, we'll release it to everyone else. Last year, Pineapple. Pineapple was the winner last year. Really so, cool. Yeah. Okay. So I mean. I don't. I don't know. This is just you know me talking, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't <laughs> say that uh, that it's. This will be the last treatments of Sculpin. Well, my favorite. I think it's gonna be endless. To be my favorite's yeah. Habanero, and I made a, I made a Habanero too. Sculpin chili when it first when it first released. Hi, hi biscuits, bro. Yep, yep. Or iced tea Sculpin. So. <laughs> I'm not saying that's a thing, but I'm not saying it's not. <laughs> this guy. That's right. Darren's trying to do it. Yeah. There, He's so trying I, to do it. I can definitely, I've never had any of these beers because I don't drink IPAs, of course, as we all know. But this reminds me of a 60 minute or a hop or like, yeah. you know, kind of like the East it's Coast honey, but it's like a little, spicy yeah, citrus, and natural yeah. citrus and grapefruit. It's, it, it, it's all about that balance. It's very complex like, in terms of the fruitiness to it. And that's it, the yeah. thing. And it, it's like every, every sip, you know, if you sit there and kind of discuss it, everyone gets something different, which is mm -hmm. really, it's. Guy, it's kind of what makes it fun. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, and you guys are all over the country, but in Florida, when you talk IPA, everybody's always all about Highlight. Yeah. Highlight, yeah. And to me, Highlight is a little too funked and too too hopped for for my take. And then I think this is a lot more approachable and gotcha. still like great flavor. And like he said, yeah. very complex, like Highlight, because Highlight is a great IPA. It's just it's a little course, too funky, yeah. a little too yeah, funky they, they, for me. It, it, you know what? Highlight is great, and I. Uh, you know, and, and my God, man, I, I got the opportunity to have a highlight right off the line, you know, and it was just awesome. But no, I, I see, I, I get what you mean. You know, we, we, you know, it, it tends to go more towards one direction and, and that's awesome. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, but there's IPAs for everyone. It's like, right. you know, we follow the more, like you said, like the 60 minute, even like Too Hearted, you right. know, Too Hearted is one of those IPAs that is just amazing like ours. And it, it's, it's funny because between us and Too Hearted, it's always like, Number one IPA is Sculpin. Number one IPA is too hard. You know? Yeah, so. yeah, it's back and forth. So, Jeff, yeah. what do you think of the, the regular Sculpin? I mean, I've had it a handful of times. It's still just uh, as fantastic as the first time I had it. Uh, when, when I first tried Sculpin, it kind of changed my opinion on IPAs. At that point, I wasn't drinking them. And it was approachable just like a too hard yeah, it was. So I, I, I love Sculpin to begin with. And as a base beer, I can smell the pineapple from this already. Oh yeah. As a uh, talk about this guy. as a base <laughs> beer for for doing treatments like this, I think it plays well to that, but it also does have its own flavor pretty solidly in it. So um, stylistically, I, it, it's an A to me. It, it hits exactly what a, a single IPA should taste yeah. like. I'm keeping a little bit left so I can do them all side Same by here. side. I drank all mine. Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's so, all right. Jeff, what do you what? Well, well, we'll give you a little a little mix later. Save okay. a little bit of that one because we're gonna mix okay. it with the habanero, <laughs> and then we're gonna mix it with the grapefruit. So, so I, I'll give, give I give it. Um, if I'm gonna be just completely objective about it, I'm, I'm gonna give it a nine point one. I think it's a, a low A just because I want I, I want these to improve on it or ch change that opinion. But yeah. um, I mean, as far as an IPA goes, from my, my tastes, uh, I, I'd give it like a nine four. Because it's, okay. I, I don't drink a lot of IPAs, and this one's very approachable and, and super complex and still really good. So I give it a little higher score for me personally, mm -hmm. but stylistically, it's just a, it's a perfect, it's a perfect example of what an IPA should be. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna agree with you on that. I would give it uh, objectively a nine flat, um, but for the style being an IPA, I would say a nine four as well. Yeah, it, it takes the style and really excels and pushes it forward. It's not just a hot bomb. It's not 
piney. It's a bunch of different flavors yeah. interacting on your palate, and it you get the hoppiness, you get the, the fruit notes, you get a bunch of things going on, and it executes it very yeah. well. And the way they do it nowadays, where everybody's looking for highest IBUs and most funk and different, all you know, everybody's going for the biggest, baddest thing. Yeah, it's it's nice that there's one that is still focusing on what the style actually is. Yeah, yeah so nine point for me. Thanks, man. Personally, yeah. Yeah, we we want to be the uh, we want to be the biggest baddest, but we want to be the biggest baddest. With I mean, the, you're with a billion taste. dollar ballast, man. You know? You're the biggest baddest. Yeah, we are, man. <laughs> yeah, we are. Which is, you know what? Which has been awesome, man. I uh, I gotta say, you know, there's been a lot of, you know, there was a lot of misconception when we first got purchased that, you know, I I guess a lot of people thought that we were purchased by Corona, and that was a, a big thing because constellation well, brands. Co- yeah, own, they own, own Corona. Corona. Yeah, right, they right. own Corona. Pacifico Modelo, and yeah. a bunch of other ones. Yeah. You know, Negra, so, right? No, Modelo. Negra yeah. Modelo. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, so, every, so, you know, I don't know if it was an article that came out that someone said that they were like, hey, you know what, this is, you know, they were bought by Corona. But the truth is we weren't. We were bought by Constellation. And, you know, that the joy between that is that we weren't purchased by a brewery, which is awesome. Yeah. So there's no there's no ways of this is how we do business for, you know, they they own Corona. They're not involved in Corona's everyday practices. They own us, but they're not involved in our everyday practices. It's, right. Yeah, you know, yeah. They, it makes sense. Yeah, you know, so the good thing about this is, you know, our beer is still going to be the same. Where where a lot of the benefit comes is that now we have funding for, honestly, an East Coast brewery. Distro. Yeah. 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 East Coast brewery, we can go into every 50 state now. Now we can focus on getting, you know, getting the product here as fresh as possible. I mean, someday, uh, last week when a truck got here, I had, I had Sculpin hit stores that were six days old we're talking Jeez. about six, wow. day, awesome. six day old sculpting from san diego that's it's, crazy that's pretty good yeah for it yeah. to hit the shelves absolutely yeah. you know and then a lot of things too it helps it helps our costs come down as well because where we save it a lot is in that now we can now we can basically bulk buy with you know the corona orders and our cost of our bottles come down that comes down everything else is yeah down as well right and you, know, you get to utilize a bigger distribution network absolutely. that already was in existence right. and absolutely. makes your costs go and, down. And it, and it really helps it's, it's us. Not, yeah, it yeah. does. It helps us get that beer everywhere, you know? I think that's what a lot of people don't understand is is when, when you know, Bows Point or Cigar City, whoever gets bought out or sell a majority stake, a lot of people think the recipes – I'm guilty of it too. The oh, recipes yeah. are going to change. The quality is going to go down, absolutely. which may be true. It may not be true. You don't absolutely. know until it, it actually it, it, happens. It, it's one of those things that I uh, – that you know, and that that's that sometimes, and, and in other cases, it it has happened. Like yeah. things have changed, and you know, that's why there was a sense of comfort when we talked to everyone, and they were like, "Guys, this this nothing's is not changing. Only, nothing's yeah. changing because even if even if they it were to change, they wouldn't know where to start to change because right. Right. they're not a brewery. They yeah. are they are a, a company. Just a name. It's a name. Well, yeah. and, and branches I mean, if, on a tree essentially. And, and honestly, Basically, I yeah. mean, if you could follow what Corona has laid out, that's not a bad path to take. I mean, I know there are people yeah. who think of Corona in, in a bad light, but to me, Corona is is the better version of of what we hate in AB. You know, it's like yeah. Corona is the import easy drinking beach beer, and it's it's like. Yeah. You know, it's not a lawnmower beer, even though it kind of is the same style, but it's not. You don't see people riding their lawnmowers drinking Coronas. They're drinking them on the boat, on the beach. It's a party beer. It's fun. It's yeah. like they've they've done a great job building that brand, and they, I think they're they, going to they take have, that and have. put that towards your brand being, you know, yeah, on a higher the, level and, and, as well. And then, you know, we, we, we met we met with the, with, the, with the guys at, you know, at Corona because now we're, we're coworkers. You know, we're, yeah. you know, we're, they're not my boss. I'm not their boss. We, you know, so it's, it, it's good because they can open doors for us that before – it take years. Right. It take it w- years. It would have taken yeah. years to open, yeah. which is great because you know we, I feel that you know Boss Point is one of the, if not the, best brewery in the country, and you know we're we're definitely the fastest growing right now. Yep. And it'll be nice to be able to get that beer to everyone else. You know, yeah. so many people that haven't been able to have it can now have it. Well, and, right. You know, it's it's a good thing. It's a good. Yeah, thing. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say too. Is prior to the buyout, you guys weren't small fish. It was like you guys were that were Pretty already one of yeah. the fastest growing breweries yeah. in the country. You already had this this stellar IPA that was going crazy with Sculpin. Everybody was talking about Sculpin and. And uh, you were building a brand off of that, just like all the big guys we've talked about in previous shows do, where they have their core line that pays the bills, and then they have all this extra money and time to do what they really love and put out really cool stuff. Yeah. Um, And I think it was it was a great move. The buyout to me was a great move on both sides. It's it took a great brand and it's going to put it everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, Jeff, what do we have next? So this is the pineapple sculpt, and I, when I opened it, I could already smell the pineapple, which actually, once the bottle was closed and the beer was out, I don't smell the pineapple as much. Right. But once uh, when I opened that bottle, it was a straight nose of pineapple. You, you get it on the nose, too. You do. Oh, yeah, you get, you get tons. So really all of our, refreshing. All yeah. of our fruit treatments on our beer... You really you get you get a big smack of it in the face right up your nose. It's insane. That finish and is I is like that a lot. Beautiful. It's a yeah. great finish. So what I tell everyone about so how so in a nutshell, this beer we use real pineapples, man. Like this this That's is, what I like to hear. This is so <laughs> chuggable. Yeah, yeah. there this is a mess when we make it at the brewery because can you imagine how the tanks look after we cram in all those pineapples? <laughs> so we use pineapple slices. I honestly if I'm not mistaken. It's somewhere around the lines of like twenty thousand pounds of pineapples. Holy moly! So we throw we throw them in, dude, and like it is it is amazing how it does it, and it really like it, you still get a lot of that citrus fruity notes from Sculpin. Yeah. But it adds more of a juiciness to it. Yeah. It has that juiciness, and th- and then even with the oils, that pineapple flavor lingers a little bit, but it's subtle. It's yeah. Not a, the it's finish not a is the bomb. finish is really nice because it cuts through. Whatever bitterness the hops do leave in your mouth, it cuts through it with a sweetness yeah. that's yeah. very subtle. But it also, you don't. I don't think you taste a ton of pineapple, but you don't taste a ton of hops, which makes it that much nicer. Yeah. It's my big my big thing when when you know when I when I first tried it, I was I was expecting I was like, all right, this is gonna be this is gonna be pineapple, and I was like, oh man, this is great. It still tastes like beer, and that has been always my pet peeve, being a beer drinker and a fan that. You know, fruit beers, I was always like, I don't like fruit beers because it's either too sweet or too too this, and it just, it takes away from, from what that is. Yeah. I'm happy yeah. that this is this has pineapple in it, but it's still an IPA, and you can still get the fact that it's an IPA. You well, know? we're about to get to the grapefruit, which I was going to say, that's yeah. that was my biggest thing when I first tried the grapefruit sculpin was the same thing he just said, is that it does taste like grapefruit, smell like grapefruit, but it's not a fruit beer. It's a beer that tastes yeah. like grapefruit, and that's... What oh, we're getting yeah. to now. Yeah. So I, I really like the pineapple. It's it's very juicy, but you can still taste the base sculpin in it. You still get all the characters, but it has that juice bomb more or less, you know? Yeah. So Jeff, on a scale from zero to ten. So I haven't had this on is the, the only one of the of the three flavors or the only one of the four actually, because I've had a regular sculpin a hand handful of times, but this is the only one that I hadn't had prior to this. Um, my first taste I was ready to, to knock it a little bit. Right. Um and then as I drank it more and that finish was really nice, I'm going to give it, uh, I think it's in line with Sculpin. I don't think it's a huge improvement, um, but it's definitely not falling off either. So I'm going to give it the exact same score. I'm going to give it the 9.4 for my palate and the 9.1 or 9 for, for regular IPA. Um, the thing is, it, it could be it could be pineapple and it could just be the way it was brewed that makes it taste like it's pineapple. So if that was released as just an IPA that had a hint of pineapple in it, I'd still think it's great. Right. Yeah. I would go slightly above. I'd say a 9.1 out of the original nine. Cause I do like the pineapple additive to it. It makes, makes it more sessionable more or less in terms of being refreshing and light. Yeah. So I'd give it a slight upgrade. Uh, I'm kind of nervous about the grapefruit. I'm really nervous about the habanero. Well, you don't. Yeah, you're you not a citrus. Do, yeah. He doesn't do, do citrus. Oh, you don't do or, that. or citrus. Or no. citrus. Oh boy. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. really like beer. I don't even know why he does a podcast. I love beer. <laughs> well, honestly, dude, Justin, you're gonna have a lot of fun. The you know the habanero, you'll be all right. The habanero is, dude, you'll be surprised. The habanero is creepy spice. I, I, yeah, I've I've done tastings and old women have come by and I'm like. You don't want to try this. Yeah, that like, no, chili was try. real like, good that I made. Oh, man, this is awesome. Oh, you made the chili with it? I made chili with that and, and Ghost Face Killer. So I did both. Oh, a, yeah. a bottle of each See, I into love, a big I two and a half gallon uh, crock. Yeah, crock. Is- and it <laughs> smelled so good throughout my house. Oh, but yeah. the best part is it wasn't putting peppers into the beer. So when you put a bunch of habanero into uh, into your your chili it comes out super spicy right and the longer it cooks the more spicy it gets the beer the longer it cooks the less spicy it gets the nose is still great and you still get a back end kick but it's it mellows it a, a little bit and it was so good well there's oh, a reason man. why the habanero is last yeah you don't want to mute our palate <laughs> right, right now yeah yeah so I great fruit. Easy, i've had so. this before oh, i know fruit. it's fantastic mm. i like the nose on this a lot better than the pineapple really yeah do you like grapefruits? Yeah. No. No, he doesn't no. like citrus oh, fruits at all. You're going to get so much grapefruit. Like these last two, I'm, I, I was kind of dreading. Oh, man. I was like, oh, I'm not going to like so, these. So, so, <laughs> so this is the deal, right, with grapefruit. What um, Adding the grapefruit to it. So, you know, Sculpin, the hops that we use in Sculpin give it a natural grapefruit flavor. When we added the grapefruit to it, 
you get a little bit of everything. You get the juiciness from the grapefruit. You get some grapefruit juice. You even get a little bit of bitterness from the rinds a little bit. We, the whole grapefruit goes in there. Yeah. It's like, imagine a grapefruit, smash it, and throw it in. Like, that's yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. That's um, awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's the whole thing. Yeah. So now, you do get, you do it by hand? Just go. Absolutely. There's okay. one guy. <laughs> he, has good, he, has yeah, these, he has these. He looks I like squeeze Pop, things. He, he looks like Popeye. He has these big <laughs> forearms, and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what he does. And, uh, you know, he just throws it in there, and. That's you know? funny. No, but we uh, we do. We have this machine of death, and it just mashes everything. It throws, throws it in. in. So, right. Um, I uh, I lost my train of thought for a second. Oh yeah, back to back to what I was saying. Great for sculpting. So this this one, man, when this one came out, forget it. People went nuts. Um, that was right was, when everybody was putting yeah. out grapefruit IPAs. Yeah. And, and that was the thing that was driving me crazy because we were the ones that pretty much invented it. We were the first grapefruit IPA on the market, and then everyone I else hear otherwise. Coming. Nope, nope, nope. We, it, it, it was us, man. We were the uh, first yeah, ones. You know, Orchid Island. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, no. We, we, we were. They're the first. claiming they're the no, they're the first. No, no, no. That that is that is not true, man. <laughs> that uh, we we were the, we were the first, and we were the ones that put it on the map. And then okay. obviously yeah. Yeah. after that, then then everyone was like, oh, this is a thing. We well, everybody was this. using orange and citrus fruit, but for some reason, grapefruit stayed off the table. And then oh. like grapefruit. Well, the minute the minute you know sweet. Ballast Point put it out, everyone's like, oh, I didn't know this could happen. Next thing you know. Oh. It's like Sam Adams now. put one like, out that was really like, good, but yeah. everyone's putting. I was surprised. That, the, yeah. the, the electric peel, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, dude, I, I, I'm hearing rumors that Schafferhofer might even. Why is everybody you know? doing? Uh, why is everybody doing freaking? Um, not grapefruit, uh, blood orange now. That's like a thing. Well, coconut's a thing now too, and so it's cocoa nibs. Everyone's doing those. Cocoa nibs yeah. everywhere. I mean, dude, every, this, everywhere. You, you got to think of it like this: the minute one beard is good with something. You're gonna get a it's bunch a of those, yeah. yeah. You're gonna get a bunch of those, you Big know. Big old bandwagon. All right, so, so have you tried it? Yes, I did. What do you think? I like this a lot. I, the smell I think is better than the pineapple. The grapefruit added the, the taste of the grapefruit really cuts the hoppiness for me. Really cuts it to where it's it's almost like juice. Yeah. It's, so it, that, I'm really excited. These how are much ruby, I like ruby this. red grapefruits, or are they yeah, white? They're, they're uh, no, they're ruby red grapefruits. And I the can thing tell is, the sweetness, but I the, I had a grapefruit tree in my backyard, and I grew up eating grapefruits. I was for about breakfast. to say, like, no one's ever asked me that question. I know, <laughs> like, no one's ever asked. Me Leave that it question. to him. Yeah, <laughs> I had. Uh, so, like, do you know what time of year that they were? Well, we had. Know? So we had a. a I've, it, this is played in now in a few episodes. It's kind of funny, but I had a star fruit tree, an orange tree, a lime tree, and a grapefruit tree in my Man, backyard. Let me so tell you, I had star fruit. Yeah, we had a we had a starfruit wit that uh, that actually Mike and his buddy Preston brewed. He was on the show for uh, Delancraft Beer How good Festival. Was that? It was good. The it was really both good. were both were very Mine good. Was his was better. a little bit better. Little bit better. Preston, sorry, Absolutely. it was a little. It was just a little yeah. more complex. A little bit more. He complex. did a mango passion okay. fruit wit. Okay, very yeah. cool. It turned out well. But so, yeah, man, this I'm 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 really happy to hear that you like it because you know the grapefruit really dries it out. You know, right. it, it really dried it out, increased the bitterness just a hair. You know, but. But it, it's a really well I don't really get the bitterness well on it, you know. Uh, I don't get I get it. the fruit bitterness. The yeah. difference, like, so the ruby reds are, yeah. yeah, ruby reds are very sweet, but the rinds are obviously very bitter. Have you ever eaten a, if you try to, like, start an orange and you bite it to get it started and you right. taste that bitterness, that's what uh, I'm getting. But that's good. So really good. I'm going to jump ahead on the score here. I think so far this is the best of the three that okay. we've had. I agree. Um, of the three, I think that would, I would give the grapefruit a 9.5 compared to the other two. Overall, of the IPAs I've had, I would definitely think it's like a 9.2. A low A IP, IPA for me. Thank you. One of the best ones I've had. Nine, Coming from a guy who doesn't drink IPAs. 9.5 on both of my scores. Okay. So, yeah, yeah so far, 9.4. So, and, and this is just to tell you how much, and I know you're sitting here and you think I'm blowing smoke up your ass, but I'm not. This is how much I actually do enjoy Sculpin, is that I put this in line with enjoyability when I just drank a Pliny the other day. And I thought that Pliny... I would, I would agree with that. I think that. Yeah. Pliny yeah. is overrated too, but yeah. it's still yeah. an A beer. And I think that Correct. these are these are solid A beers. And the thing is that they're available. Yeah. They're not... You don't have to wait all year to get... I mean, these are these are release, you know, limited no, release, but Pliny is like you you freaking... You have to trade for you it. Trade and, and, and you, you trade and you kill people for it. For it and Actually, it's not that good. Not anymore. Year round. You all around them. all of them? Really? All four of them are now. You heard it here breaking first. News. You heard it here yeah, first, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. Breaking news. So, so all of these now are year round. People have, you know, grapefruit was, was originally where it was coming and going, and then we were thinking about doing the pineapple that way, and then you know we kind of released habanero, and we were like, ah, you know, it's a couple months out of the year because it might be a little bit of a habanero is going to be your toughest man, seller out of them for it's, consistent it's, sales. It's, yeah. it's our it's our toughest seller, but man, it's crazy. Like it's still up there and. People that love habanero, when habanero comes, it's gone. 
I, so, I cook with it, yeah, and I think it's amazing. I, I cook with it. I drink a few of them. I mean, it pairs good with barbecue and Mexican food. And yeah. You name it. Thai food. Is, you know. I'm really surprised. If you're at right World now. of Beer and you buy a sausage board, you can eat and drink a habanero sculpin with it, and it honestly is amazing. Oh, yeah. Got to get, yeah. so- they pair gotta get a with sausage with a, with a, with yep. a hot beer, yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm really surprised with the grapefruit. I would definitely get that again for sure. Oh, good, man. Good. That makes for me sure. happy. Which, does, totally which is weird. Yeah, cause, I'm just kidding. No, 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 <laughs> which kidding. is weird because you absolutely hate I, citrus. I hate, yeah, He's a lot. Like, man, you know, I'm having this party, and I really wish I would have had a case of uh, grapefruit sculpin. So I used to do this thing. I, I've said it before as well, but um, I, I'm a huge fan of Ghost Face Killer, which so is the I reason like, I love I like this. It. I like it, too. I like it, too. <laughs> I'm a huge you fan of Ghost Face Killer. You the only people like that. So when I went to Colorado, I actually went to Twisted Pine just to get Ghost Face Killer and bring it back with me. I brought a four-pack back with me. Um, which it wasn't really available here. Now it is, but it wasn't really available here you have to, you have back then. Yeah. Um, and so I would go to parties and I'd rip the label off, I'd like the top label, and I'd put it in a koozie, and I'd just be drinking a beer. And people would be like, oh, what are you drinking? And I'd be like, oh, try it. <laughs> and I'd make them try it. I'd sip, and they would all go freaking crazy how much they hated it. But I loved dude, it. Dude, I love it, too. And someone, when I was like, man, I got to try this Ghost of Kid right here. It's awesome. One guy was like, hey, man, I had that beer one time. I shit myself. <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, we, that's too personal for me. We yeah, yeah a, that's why. That's why I said some guy. I didn't tell you his name. You're welcome. We had a uh, a CEO of a brewery here on on one of the shows, and he had a, an orange goza or goza, whatever the hell you call it. Goza. No, it was a saison. I'm sorry. I take it back. And he's sitting right where you're sitting, or I'm here. He's sitting right here. Yeah. And just like, hey, Mike, how do you? What do you think of the orange saison? I was like, I actually don't kind of. I, I don't really like it. And then the guy who makes this, he's like. Well, why don't you like it? I was like, I just don't like oranges. And he's and, <laughs> and he Jess just, gives me shit for it all the time. Oh man, it's all right. Listen, dude, I you know, I, different <laughs> you grew shows. up in Florida and you don't like citrus. I think that's funny. That I is, didn't grow that up is, in Florida. That, that, oh yeah, that's oh, right. You're a Jersey you boy. Yeah. yeah. Oh okay. Well, in that case, there you go. You got a free pass. Yeah. You got a free pass. I mean, yeah, we can be like, like you're oranges. from Jersey. You get a free pass on anything. I don't like Nobody oranges wants or to fuck with Jersey. <laughs> yeah. You just you you have a free pass on it. Yeah, but you know, different drugs for different folks. You know, sometimes yeah. people try things they don't like it, and then it's like you know, it, it, we've been getting a lot of well, that with our watermelon. Now you have something for anybody, yeah. really. You know, and, and they're not like we said. Like Sculpin's already approachable, but you have to so, be an IPA, at least appreciate an IPA mm-hmm. to drink a Sculpin. And they're all seven percent. But these, yeah. but they, but as you get, oh. I think. <laughs> pineapple's the next step if you're not an IPA drinker but you want to get into them. Pineapple's there. Yeah. I think grapefruit's your most approachable. Yeah. Grapefruit is your most approachable. Yeah. yeah. Grape, grape, grapefruit is the one that it's like, hey, you know what? You don't like IPAs? Try this. What do you think? And if they like it, then oh introduce them to Sculpin or whatever. <laughs> and if yeah, this wasn't, it's a burn in the back <laughs> of the throat. If this wasn't a treatment oh. beer and this was released oh. on its own and wow. just called blah, 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 IPA. Yeah. Hetty Topper. Learn, make up a name, yeah. but if it was called that and packaged that way, this could be up there with those beers because oh, of the way it 100%. tastes and it, and it is. It's it's One, that good. One hundred percent. It is. Oh, yeah. This it's just hot, not a double man. IPA. It is. Yeah. It is oh, hot. he's uber sensitive to heat. It, oh, it, oh, yeah. Oh, he like almost it's cried weird. on that on a poblano it, wit that wasn't even hot. You know, I take another sip just so you can experience it, and then if you want to just sell me out, if you want to have a really good time, mix the grapefruit with the habanero. It's good, man. It's good. I'm telling you. It's hot. It doesn't go away. So this one, no bitterness. No. Everything gets heat, masked bro. by heat. It's Randy everything Johnson does, heat. Every, everything does get masked by heat. I mean, you'll get some of the maltiness, but it's pretty much, it gets masked by heat. And that's why, like, I don't mind drinking code, a close-coated, you Ooh. know, close-coated hab- um, habanero because... You really even you don't you don't really get much of the hops and you know what I mean they'll, they'll they'll be a hint like some people get a hint of that I I get it don't. up front I get yeah I get it up that's what I do I get it up front and I'm like cool and then all of a sudden it's just lingering heat and I'm like man yeah. I just need a pepper it's almost and it tastes, a little but bit it, of salty. but it's I, I think I, it's I almost get so I don't think the heat is it's hot obviously it's hot. but it's not like it's not like uncomfortable yeah, so like no. i can sit and, and enjoy a beer like this and yeah. and not ever feel uncomfortable man you know it. like I, i'm not about to break out in sweats and like i'm not I eating smoke cigars with this beer hey, you know I, I get real full body spicy That's cigars be, yeah oh and it's great man because it's just like you look what, like you smoke you just like love cigars i do love cigars <laughs> i do love cigars <laughs> Does it eat, i could see I i'm could not see, saying anything <laughs> i could see carlos just sitting there just smoking a stogie yeah. and drinking habanero hey, sculpin what are you doing That's on tuesday night yo come on out it's like BP event and have a cigar. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Dude, I, I, I will. I always got, I got, got two got cigars in the car right now. Yeah. I always, I always got them. Yeah, it's, a, it's a Cuban thing, bro. I just, I, I'm, you know, I'm pulling <laughs> both, my race Both car. my roommates are Cuban, yeah, and we smoke a lot of cigars at my house. Yeah, dude. I, uh, I got my, my buddy Brian. If he comes while we're still doing this, I'll, uh, 
I'll, I'll have him make a cameo. Guy has a, uh, a we have a locker that we share at Corona's. And uh, I got a, really? uh, yep, I always have, if you guys ever want, I'll give you the code. And it's in downtown. You guys, no, I, I live mean, downtown. You don't want to give me the code. You um, won't have any cigars. I, I, I got, I got, I got, a, I got a, we got a bottle of whiskey in there. I always got a six pack of Sculpin in there. And every month I have new box cigars. Just whatever. A friend of mine. What, what's Sculpin? Uh, right now I just have regular right, Sculpin. Dude, that. OG Sculpin is my thing right now, man. Like It I, is. It's really I good. I love OG Sculpin. And I, uh, it's OG. I mean, know? I think, I think that grapefruit will be like my, my six pack at home beer. Yeah. Yeah. Although I, I mean, I, I mean, I am a malt guy. I do do a lot of like doo doo, which, which is which is funny with you liking malt so much that you like spicy beer. I genuinely like almost every kind of beer. Like, there's literally I, I, we've accomplished it. Like, the only beer style I don't, I cannot drink is like Berliner Weisses. Otherwise, I enjoy every beer. You know, I'm, I'm with you, but you can't enjoy Berliners. I love Berliners. Berliners taste like cheese to me. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm getting better at them though. I am. I'm oh. starting to mind over matter. Yeah, I'm starting to convince myself that they're I'm good. I'm with that right now. But dude, the, I'm, I'm that nice melons one though, the River oh, Town, nice melons Berliner. It's a melon Amazing. Berliner Weiss. It's yeah, really good. It's really good. We'll try some. Yeah, after, it's solid. After, yeah, a after, solid yeah. sour. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, I love it. It's not with grapefruit to me. Once you try them side by side, it's a cool part about a horizontal is right. yeah. this was my favorite, quote unquote, my favorite. But now I think it is actually You're going towards my least favorite of the. Th- well, it's it's I think pineapple is my least favorite. Interesting. OK, because I think I'm going to give this a nine two. my least favorite. I think I'm going to give this okay. a nine two and a nine three. So okay. nine two regular for what it is. Nine three for my personal taste. Because I do like spicy food, but it's not as to me. It's still not as enjoyable as grapefruit or original. Okay. Now, my review. I'm only gonna give one score, and it's it's the style score. Because pers- like personal preference, this is beer I would never drink ever. If okay. I'm at a bar and I see habanero sculpin, you're running. I'm never way. getting it. <laughs> what if you go to a bar I'm, and it says free habanero sculpin? I wouldn't get it. I wouldn't get it. Right. But. I that's, like it. That's your, mouth, just, your mouth is still on fire, right? Yeah, it's still like my, there's a lot of saliva. But anyway, you New Jersey guys, you don't like spicy food. I just don't. That's that's true. So I'm not even gonna grade because it's not even fair for to give it a, course, a score. So, but in terms of IPA, I mean, if you're looking to get a spicy IPA, you're certainly gonna get one. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I would I would give it a nine just because it yeah. not only does it meet style, it's definitely not an average IPA. So, it exceeds it. Do me a solid. Mix it with the grapefruit. Ooh, I'm going to do Full. that. Full. Or, or do like a half and half. Do half and half. Well, I'm going to try them all just back to back real quick first. Is this this is it right here? So what is this called when you mix habanero and the grapefruit? You know, I don't know. Heaven. It uh, it, it definitely it definitely has a name, but I, I, don't, I don't know right now. It brings well, out, it brings out the bitterness name. and the heat. It, yeah. It's both. So the heat gets muted, the bitterness jumps up. Yeah. I don't like it. No, it's, it's decent. It's good. Just heat for you. It's, 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 yeah, I just heat. don't like it. It's good. You I get a little like bit I got of like a, it, I didn't, but I feel like I got like a little bit of like an actual physical like pineapple in my mouth. Like a or grapefruit. Like a little like sweet like yeah. fruit. So the grapefruit and habanero, mix, mix them together. It's not fantastic. It's actually pretty good. Uh, I just don't like heat. But you get you get a little bit of both equally. I just put a little pineapple in there too. I'm bad. Just mix them all. That's what I'm doing. Just you know what? We're having a salad. You know. So if we do a Bow's Point suicide, which is what Mike has over there, right? Minus, you don't have the OG. Mm-hmm. I don't have the OG one. Here, let me top you off. Let's do it. So if we do a Sculpin suicide that has all of them together, not equal parts, because I'm an idiot. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. I don't have equal parts either. I did, but not anymore. What's the fun in that, right? I think mine has too much habanero in it. I think yours has too much habanero. Yeah. Probably. That's the one you left the most of. That's true. Let me tell you, though, dude. You can't go wrong with Sculpin. It's crazy. You really can't. I, we, have four, we have four different beers. Now that I'm trying them warm, now that I'm trying them warm, pineapple jumps a little. Yeah, dude. That's the, and that's the, the pineapple's thing. coming out a lot. The finish man, gets stronger. Yeah. I tell everyone that, man, because I've been... so. I've been getting a lot of phone calls about the uh, about the watermelon and the pineapple. Sometimes people are like, "I don't get much of it." I'm like, "Let that beer warm up." I'm like, "When that beer warms up, you're gonna get you're gonna get fruit, man." But again, it's subtle. 
but you do get more, and the, the aroma really like. It yeah, warm up. warm taste. I gotta give an edge almost to pineapple over over the Richard. other ones. Yeah. yeah, pineapple jumps up the most when it warms up. Yeah, I think just that's just a profile of the pineapple too. You know, it's warming up so. Yeah, I don't know. So you're supposed to do drink warm, drink pineapples when it's warm, right? <laughs> yeah, well, right. it's a nice like 95 degree day, so these beers didn't last long being cold. There you go. So take away, Jeff. What do you? What do you? I know we touched on it throughout the show, but which one was your favorite? Uh, across the board, as a complete beer, grapefruit's the best, uh, okay. in my opinion. I, I genuinely believe that grapefruit, to me, is as enjoyable or more enjoyable than Pliny, which I've had, uh, uh, Heady Topper, which I've had recently. I've had both of them recently. Recently, um, we've, we've talked about a handful of good double IPAs, uh, which I know I'm comparing to doubles right now. But it's it's as enjoyable as these as these big epic you know sought after beers. Yeah. Um, and I, I think especially grapefruit is is better than like what you would get as your as your top area IPA like for us high lie. Grapefruit is better than high lie. So to me, I agree with that. Yeah. So yeah. to me, that's the best uh, throughout the throughout the board. Right. Um, as they warmed up, I'm going to give the edge to pineapple, which was my lowest end of the four. But. Um, even original is online with High Liar or Hopsecutioner or Bell's Too Hearted, and those are three of the most, you know, iconic, easy drinking, good IPAs. So, um, I, I think original is great, uh, awesome, obviously to build off of. Which, oh, yeah. right. when, it's when, when you taste it, base. when you taste it, you don't think of it as not complex though. Like a lot of people put yeah. out IPAs that are super simple so that they can treat them and do cool things with them, like. I like that Sculpin stands on its own, and then you treat it, and it does yeah. something different to it. Kind of like High Lie with White Oak. High Lie stands on its own, and then they did White Oak, and yeah, it came out great still. Key out. Lime. Key else, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, so they can throw whatever they want in that and still make it work, but they didn't start with something super basic, and I don't think Sculpin did either. Yeah. I think Sculpin's so. more flavorful than the High Lie. Base I think, to base comparison. I think it's more complex with better flavors. Yeah. I think I think High Lie is more of a punch. Right. And Agreed. then... This is more of a, a front to back better beer, um, one dimensional, but still super awesome is Habanero. Um, if you like spicy IPAs, it is yeah. the perfect one, uh, or spicy beer in it general. Is. It is the perfect beer, but it's it's one dimension. It's heat, and you're gonna get heat. You're getting heat, um, yeah. grapefruit all the way through is the best, and then I would give the rest close second, third, and fourth. You know, okay. they're all a toss so up. So grapefruit's one, OG Sculpins two. Or are you going to give that to pineapple? I'm going to give pineapple just because it, when it warms up. And right. I, I'm a big fan of drinking beers warm. So okay. once it warms up, it's better. And then I give the original and then habanero, which I, going into it, I thought habanero was the best. But that's just because I love spicy beers. Yeah, I'm going to agree with your rating. Grapefruit for me is, is by far the, the best one for me. Uh, pineapple's two, OG's three, and habanero's four. a very distant fourth. <laughs> 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 Which one's your favorite, Carlos? Come on. So honestly, my favorite is OG Sculpin. It's OG Sculpin. How'd I know? <laughs> it is. It's OG Sculpin. I, you know, I have drank so Ooh, suicide's many. Suicide's great. Yeah, yeah, suicide is great. I have drank so many beers, man, and and especially beers from our portfolio. And I always, it, every time I, you know, I'll go months and I won't drink Sculpin just because I'm drinking this, you're drinking that, right? And then I'll I'll have I'll have OG Sculpin, and then I'm like every time. Damn, that beer is good. Why don't I drink enough <laughs> yeah. of this? You know, OG so Sculpin. it's it's just yeah. I, I love me some OG Sculpin. Yeah. Out of your portfolio, what's your favorite beer? My favorite beer out of, out of our portfolio is probably Indra Conundra. It's our curry beer. It has curry, cumins, dates, raisins. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yellow yeah. or red curry? Uh, I think yellow curry. <laughs> I, I uh, might like I, it. I, oh, you I would love it. it. Has roasted coconuts in it. I would it's love insane. it. Coconut curry, like coconut curry soup, I, or like Jamaican gonna, curry chicken. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be. Oh. I'm, I'm actually. Uh, I'm. I'm doing everything I can to get you one of those kegs. That would be amazing. Our, we're doing yeah, our, we're doing our 20th anniversary here, guys. So come yeah, spend. We are Miles actually Point 20th year birthday. We're the. Uh, we're the. We were the first party to do that right you and then they're, the first they're party, kind of molding yeah. our party for other yes. 20th anniversaries uh, yes so so I mean, you we're heard it doing we're it. doing it better exactly. all right that that guy needs to actually come here come come, come over here so yeah, so looking. we uh we are being crashed with uh that's all right well, that's he, the charm of our show yes yeah. it's uh he's uh, that's brian he's with oh, do south he, he Brewery. disappeared oh my god i love and, do south uh, so do i I, and, and I love that man as well. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's going to his car. We scared him away, everyone. So let's, uh, let's, let's dip into the PIA, Jeff, the plug anywhere. 
Plug Hashtag. it anywhere. Plug so it is, anywhere. So this is where we, uh, crawlers, you get to plug it anywhere. Oh, I get to plug in anywhere? anywhere plug in want. anything? You, so, all plug right, in guys. Any, plug in anything. There you go. Plug yeah. in anything. Okay. So, um... Our 20th year anniversary, which I just plugged shamelessly. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, man. I mean, really, that was it. That was like the big one. You know, I got a bunch of stuff going on, but find me on Facebook. <laughs> find me on Facebook. At Ballast Point. <laughs> at, at, at Carlos Font <laughs> at BallastPoint.com or whatever. Just find me on Facebook. You're so friends with this guy or this guy, you'll be friends with me. When, when's the, 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 tw- the party? So we are going to do it here in July. We don't have a set date yet. Uh, all that is kind of debating on our kegs and what we can get. But basically... It starts now. I mean, we already started. We have some victory at sea treatments back there, and uh, we're going to get a lot more. So it's going to it's be, be a big a big party. We've, we've it's going like, to be, be like a tap takeover. And it, some. It's going to be a tap takeover with birthday with party hats. Like, it's going to get stupid. What's, like, been, I, uh, uh, what's been really fun for us I'm, I'm going to bring a photo booth. We're going to take pictures. You're gonna, that we're going to have a hashtag. The hashtag is BallastPointOG20. Nice. You know? And the hashtag PIA. <laughs> yeah, there we, um, yeah, right there you go. Yeah. But what, what we've seen lately, and which is really cool, is, is for years now we've had we've only had a few giant events. We've had one break basically every three or four months. That is uh, with only certain breweries because the draw hasn't been good for a lot of breweries. It's you know we try to do something big for for certain people and it never turns out well. And um, what we've seen lately in the last year or so is that there's so many great breweries that are really staying true to the core of what beer is about like ballast point does and puts out great beer like we were saying prior to the buyout and even i'm sure still i would imagine because they're yeah. you guys are popping up everywhere is is you guys were one of the fastest growing breweries because yeah. of quality right. so that, ha- that um, has been, that has been it, and that's and and there's buzz about your beer so we can do a giant event with ballast point now and not have to worry about it it's mm-hmm. just like it'll it we know we're going to do great the with name, it. The name takes care of itself. Right. Yeah. And so that's that's been awesome for uh, for us is to be able to have that freedom where it's not just, oh, what are we doing? You know, Dogfish Head, Oscar Blues, Cigar City, Terrapin, and that's it. You know, like, like you know, it, regionally, like, Terrapin kills it for us, obviously. Delaware is uh, good for Dogfish Head. Yeah. It's relatively yeah. close, and they're pretty huge all over the country. But there's, you know, there's a handful of breweries that have draw, and then there's a hand, there's like a billion that don't. And it's, I'm really excited that there's a lot of great breweries that are now creating draw for themselves right. that we can now open the doors to. And it's like, Ballast Point's going to do awesome. I know that party's going to be fun. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be really it's, cool. It's, it's going to be a good time. We're going to make it a lot of fun. So if you're watching this, mark it on your calendars and keep an eye out because come celebrate some come celebrate our birthday with us because it'll be a lot of fun. And plus, you get we'll to here. kick it with these two guys and, and then this you. guy. I mean, we'll all be here. This whole table, you know. Yeah, we'll be. Uh, we'll all be Billy here. I, I, here. I, uh, I'll plug it. I, I plug, you know, everything every week about uh, everywhere about world of beer, but realistically um so there's things obviously we have things coming up that we don't have set dates for yet um so we're just we're still working them out as soon as they become available i did that with my mind as soon as we become available we we release them on our website on on facebook as well so check our check our website check for our events just follow us on facebook you'll see when that 20th party is coming up you'll see when our homebrew festival is coming up in june yep um, which is still going to be a stellar event sponsored by Red Cypress. It's going to be really fun. And the bar podcast. And uh, <laughs> we're going to have we're going to have a lot of fun with that. So that's I mean just check out check out our Facebook World of Beer Absolutely. UCF. Cool. And I'm going to plug Carlos for being an awesome guest on the show. Thank you. Check Great out guest. Ballast Point. Try One of the better ones we've ever had. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. you Try the horizontal. Are- Come out to the event. Try the horizontal, guys. Guys, when you come for the birthday, we're going to have a horizontal tap take over right there. It's going to be All awesome. Of it. Horizontal. It's gonna be a word. But yeah, just uh, I just want to thank every, I just want to thank everybody for supporting the show, and we're about to be joined by. Yeah, Brian. We're, we're we're about to be joined by Brian Tonelson oh, from Do South. I, I have a man I love Do South. Guy. I oh, love hold on, hold on, I gotta grab some ass here. Hi, buddy. Ooh, that's a real thing. That's a, that's a I, shirt. I can feel it's it's beautiful. It's just the shirt. So we're just wrapping up. We even pulled out. Pleasure to meet you. Yep. Mike, nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, Brian. So we're, we're I love you, South, by the way. We're doing our, uh, we're doing <laughs> We've mentioned them a handful of times. Yeah, we have. That's the wrap-up. Traffic and weather coming at the top of the hour. Absolutely. Yeah. And Brian is out in the market right now with uh, Brian. Please come in. I'm, so. I'm actually done for the day. So market market visits are done for the day. Feeling good. Oh, but we just See? plug it anywhere. You can plug it yourself if you want. Okay, so Do South Brewing now available in Jacksonville, all the way down to Key West and parts of Philadelphia. Woo! Woo. Uh, thank you very much to our friends at Bill Vista and Brown Distributing for getting the beer out into the market. And... Uh, more importantly, 
It's a Constellation Brands. I'm oh, sorry, Ballast Point. Um, <laughs> For giving us the inspiration for our Cat 5 treatments. We have Habanero Cat 5 dropping soon. Um, let's see. <laughs> see? <Yeah, Just> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were the um, first, though. We no, the and a uh, special shout-out to World of Beer UCF for carrying the freshest cake of Cat 5 in Orlando. And also for Oblivion Tap Room for doing the same. Um, Orlando rules. Orlando yeah. does yeah. rule. Orlando rules. I think these are the two best guess we've ever had oh, Brian, Brian, yeah, Brian is, just Brian, got here Brian is the best. <laughs> yeah I'm only <laughs> deep, deep, deep. Absolutely. <laughs> two more beers game For over real, we should we should have the uh, we should have the podcast after dark call just I'm yeah. on a boat I'm on a boat I'm on a boat uh, Brian and I are actually we, gonna do an event together called I'm on a boat so stay tuned for that nice uh, I did source us blue nautical jackets captain hats the boss paid for those so you've got nothing to worry. I know you've got oh. that that big yeah, but 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 still, hey, thank hey, you. Hey, no sweat. Hey, That's we, we should we should uh we should do it here. We'll put a boat out here. I reckon the way you want to do think. it. We can do a we can put a boat out here. We, I, I got a, I got a ten foot swimming. So no, what we'll do here. is we'll get a. Cord, you want to do it? We'll get a corrugated. You're board watching it look. live. This is how events. This is how events oh, happen. Oh, we're on TV. People. Oh yeah. shit. Hey. Yeah, yeah, this is how I'm, events I'm, happen. All willy nilly. Um, we'll get a corrugated board that looks like the um calm before the storm and the Mariana trench boat. Let's we'll get the Mariana and, trench boat and, and that and, fucking skeleton. And we can be pirates. Um, Calm before the storm actually comes. Our, Calm before the storm comes out around I, April. And speaking about pirates, if we want to do like a pirate boat thing, I actually know a folk band that they dress up like pirates and they play <laughs> pirate music. And they'll come and I'm they'll do it. I'm only coming if it's mini kiss. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> oh, mini kiss, mini, mini kiss. If you're mini watching this, shit. please, please come. And they they get sued every time they play and they don't care. They do it anyway. Mini kiss. Mini I'm kiss. Down. I'm down. My birthday is coming up. When is your birthday? April eighth. That like, is, wow, that's that's around the corner. Yeah, wow. That's, that's too fast. short notice to, for to, us to yeah. put that. Together. But I'm trying to get a boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> do you have a boat? So yeah, I could steal one. Man, we'll have to have Darren play boats and hose. Yeah. Uh, on repeat. On repeat. On repeat. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That'll wow. Happen. Well, let's uh, let's do it. We'll. Uh, All right. I'm on a boat. Is happening. We have uh, blazers and. All right. So no, next no, no, next no, no, episode no, no. we'll plug they, that. Blue nautical jackets. Okay. And sorry, captain's hats. Blue they're not jackets. blue blazers. I'm sorry. They're blue nautical jackets. Twisted. What do you Guys, need? You need a a, a Kashmina point. Afghan or whatever. What's he say? <laughs> Correct. A <laughs> Kashmina <laughs> Ash Afghan. Afghan. Yeah. So, so it's a flippy floppies. <laughs> flippy floppies. <laughs> it's a flippy floppy. I'm on a dolphin doing backflips and shit. So anyway, thanks again for watching and listening to this. Fucking crazy episode. Thank you. It's been fun. It's been I'm fun. So Thanks, Carlos. It's been great. No, it's been great. It no we really love it. it. We need this. This is what we, we do. This. Yeah. This is, you know what we're doing is we're building, <laughs> we're building hype. It gives, hype. It gives us a good. It gives us a good uh, title, right? Yeah. And watch the last minute. We get a surprise <laughs> host. <laughs> yeah. Surprise. <laughs> Dude, South really brings it down. <laughs> yeah, for real. Sorry about that. Awesome. No, it's good. So anyway, thanks again for listening and watching. Until next time. Thanks, guys.